What's going on, Hugo? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So let's take a look and let me show you and walk you through exactly what's going on. So the first thing I did was I typed your name in, right? H. Cornell and Associates LLC. And I got this straight from your website. Um, you know, so hopefully that is. I also saw design, but it seems like you are coming up for all of this bathroom remodeling, you know, and that's good. So you have your Facebook coming in. Uh, it looks like you're on Angie's List, you're on Yelp, you're on BBB, you're at Home Advisor. So you're in a couple places. Uh, and this is, I think, your website over here. I believe it is. And that's good. MapQuest. So you're popping up for what it is that you are. Here's my issue. You do not have a GMB, which is a Google My Business profile. So what is that? All right, let me show you. So when I type in Grindstone Renovations Georgia, this is a client of mine, they have a GMB here. This is for the map. So if anyone looks here, they can see the map, they're open, they have a phone number, add missing wet. So yes, we are in the midst of building a website for them. Uh, we just need this to get um, uh, verified, but uh, potentially you want this. Now you can create one for free. Go to, um, you know, uh, sorry, Google My Business and then create. Fill out the information and make sure that you put an address in. Um, and then obviously you can hide the address, but put one in so that it gets more of a of an area. If you have a P, uh, not a PO box, Google doesn't like that. If you have a suite and like the post office or something, that's okay. But let's go over here to your website. Oh, by the way, thirty percent of all people will click on the website or one of these three guys, and I'll, I'll point it out a little bit later. But here we have your website, right? So you have your homepage, which is fine. Some of it is appearing in Spanish, I believe, or Etsy, this site, I, I don't know if it's Spanish or not, you must for contact us. So <laughs> there is halfway some Spanish on here or some other language that I am unfamiliar with. So you have that, that's fine. Interior modeling in USA, I would probably get a little more specific with that. Um, home is good, but if I click home, it actually doesn't just bring me back to hcornell.com. There is a duplicate page with the same stuff on it which is like a waste because you now have a second page here that you don't need. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. Uh, and then you have services. So you do a whole bunch of stuff. If I click on it, kitchen, bathroom, flooring, drywall, painting, concrete. Um, so they're all on one page and there's no content here. So what I would say to do is split up the pages. You want six pages, one for each one discussing each one. And that will have an effect on how uh, you're ranked because you're going to get keywords on there and it'll start pushing you up. About us is good, work completed is great, that's called gallery, and then contact us you should have. And I like how you have your number here, it is click to call, so good job. But let me show you what the overview looks like. This is how Google looks at you. You don't have any data here, because there's nothing here, right? So you have no rank, you have no UR rating, which is how much Google likes your website. You have no DR rating, which is how much Google trusts your credibility in your website. You have very little to no backlinks. Now a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it returns to you. Now, if I had to guess, four of these are going to be what I just listed earlier. Angie's List, the BBB, uh, Hughes, maybe maybe a couple of others. But they're not really doing much for you. Um, so the last thing is obviously your organic keywords. And by the way, not all backlinks are equal. Some are stronger than others. BuzzFeed, Wikipedia stuff you don't want. You want things that are actually going to help you. Um, and you want them to be kind of local citations. Now, I know this is probably going to sound a little, uh, you know, like crazy, or like it might be a little, uh, like, let's just say, um, if you were to start talking about, you know, remodeling and different things that go into it, I wouldn't have any idea. So I, I don't, like, if I'm rambling, that's okay. Let me know. Um, but last is your organic keywords. So an organic keyword is what somebody will type into Google to find you. Now, you don't have any keywords. So how is Google going to connect you with clients or with anyone searching for something if you don't show up as uh, an interested party. And that's that's a very big problem that, you know, is uh, something we would want to take care of. So let me show you what I mean. Home remodeling Orlando, Florida. That is what we call a good keyword. And the reason is, is because it has two components. It has the specific service you're looking for, and it also has the specific location that you want to be noticed in so it's uh so because if i'm looking for something and i'm getting exhausted on search options i'm going to hone in on exactly what i'm looking for i'm looking for somebody to do a home remodeling job in my area and i live in orlando florida now these are good enough to actually run good ads for so let me show you what's going on 
we got some sponsored results. KBF even beats out the GMB. This is the GMB, by the way, right? I said that about 30 to 40% of people will click on one of these three guys. Uh, so that's 30% of people, right? That's a huge number. But KBF Design is the first in organic search. They're even better than all that. So people are going to mostly go to them first simply because they're, uh, they're right there. But normally this would be the first thing. In, uh, this is underneath the, the map would be where I would start searching in the organic search. But let's go to KBF because they are number one right now. Let's see what they got going on. So it's clean. They got a picture. I think you can even click for a different picture. Yep. And it'll kind of rotate. They have a home, YKBF, our process, their gallery, which is essentially their, uh, their service pages for them to go through. I don't agree with that. I would have rather had them set services instead of gallery and then contact us. And as you scroll through, you see they talk about each one and these go to all the individual pages that they have because if you have an individual page, you can rank for an individual page. Um, so theoretically, you can take up the top six spots in Google with all the different back pages you have on your website. Uh, and then finally, they have their accolades, which is what you want. But um, I don't know if you're noticing, they have, yes, pictures, but it's very structured in design, but they have a lot of content. And content is everything. They also have their number throughout their website, so you can call them. So yeah, it's a little long, family-oriented. People love that stuff for some reason. I mean, I understand it. It's like that trust factor. If you can, you know, give the family, then you know you're, you're you know, a good person or something like that. I mean, I understand the psychology. I'm not putting down anyone. Like, I, I, I'm not. Anyway, uh, and then they finally have the end of it. So let me show you what their back end looks like. This is what a true good, um, what it should. A UR rating of 35, a DR of 30 of 23. Now you want these in the 30s and 40s, ratio of one to one. They're not doing too bad. They have excellent amount of backlinks with good amount of referring domains. So they're able to hold this number. Finally, they have almost 2,000 different organic keywords with 678 people coming to their website on average per month. Okay. So let me show you what those keywords are. Kitchen remodeling Orlando. Full overlay cabinets. No one cares about that. That's not a keyword I would want. And they lost it, so it's not even there anyway. Kitchen Remodeling Orlando, Bathroom Remodel Orlando, Kitchen Remodel Orlando, Florida. All of these are keywords with a volume, as you can see, but they all also have a location and a service that they're offering. So they're ranking for very service-specific and location-specific keywords, which means that if somebody does put that in, that means most of the time they're looking for something very specific, which means they're ready to buy. So we would want to fill your website with all of that. Kitchen remodel pictures. He lost that one. So he actually spent a good amount of time removing all of the ones that aren't going to help him. Look at all these keywords. They're all perfect. Except for that one. Like before and after. Like no one cares. But kitchen remodel Orlando. And there's a decent amount of traffic. But are you looking at the traffic he's getting to his website through that? When you're in positions number one, two, or three, you will get anywhere from 10 to 20%, if not more. He's getting 33%. Right here off 150 volume in position two. Imagine if he was in position one. 32 out of 90. He's getting a, a, an average of 33. This one, not so much. 28 out of 20. Position three, he's getting a little over 14%, uh, which is pretty damn good, actually. So how does this really help you out, you do? Honestly speaking, first step is first. I want you to go online tonight or this afternoon, and I want you to create your own GMB. Google My Business Profile. Fill out your information accurately and correctly. Uh, you know, put all that in. As far as pictures go, I mean, optimizing is going to be a bitch, but you know, whatever. But then after that, it's redoing a bit of the content in here so that we can get organic keywords. You can't just put keywords on a website and expect it to rank. You got to get some content in there so you can put the keywords in there so it reads naturally to Google. That's what they're looking for. And then finally, once those two steps are done, uh, we would want to focus on your backlinks and referring domains. Now, I know that sounds like a daunting task, but the great news is they have an excellent amount of them. And they have good ones, obviously, because they're ranking number one for pretty much everything. So I would take theirs and I would copy that over to you. And then from there, I would add about 100 on top of that one so that you can start and continue to beat out the competition. So I just want you to imagine for a minute, all that happens and you're pulling in 500 people a month in organic traffic that are looking for your specific services. What can that do for you? Anyway, that's all I got. Uh, I know it's a little longer than 20 minutes. Um, you know, from when I said I would send it to you, but I tried. Anyway, have a good one, man. Talk to you later.